they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The Most High revealed to us via the scriptures that you would know a person by their fruits. A person's behavior reveal more about the individual than the words that come out of their mouths. Israelites, it is important to listen to the Most High when he said you would know them by their fruits. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. A corrupt person who only know evil cannot produce good fruits. They can try to convince you with their words, but their behavior would reveal what is truly in their hearts. Even so. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. The indigenous black people must take the time to examine a person, test their spirits to see if they are of the most high. Many indigenous black people trust their enemies more than they trust the most high. If the indigenous people would read the scriptures, they would discover that they live among their enemies. The scriptures do not refer to the other bloodlines in the seat of the fallen as your friends or allies. The scriptures say you would dwell among your enemies in the land of your captivity. The people that hate you would rule over you. And I will set my face against you. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The scriptures did not say the people that love you would rule over you and help you. The scriptures clearly say the people that hate you would rule over you. The seed of the fallen and all of its subspecies have a perpetual hatred for the indigenous black people. The seed of the fallen try to hide their hatred through diversity and biased laws. No matter how hard they try to conceal their hatred for the indigenous black people, their behavior reveal the truth. The fact that we continue to battle racism and discrimination in every generation is all the proof that you need. The numerous police killing of indigenous black people, the segregation on social media as well as neighborhoods reveal what is truly in the hearts of the people who want to mask their hatred behind diversity. The seed of the fallen has done a phenomenal job of convincing the indigenous black people that they have changed. The apple never fall far from the tree. The next generation of colonizers are exhibiting the same behaviors as their forefathers. They are still robbing the indigenous black people of their culture and creation, passing the indigenous black people's culture and creation for their own. The children of the serpent benefit from the hard work of the indigenous black youth. The new generation of colonizers do not see anything wrong with their behaviors. Instead, they become offended when you call out their behaviors. The corporations that endorse the fake talent of the entitled colonizers reveal how the beast system is created to keep the indigenous black people oppressed and at the bottom. The corporations owned by the synagogue of Satan give the children of the colonizers opportunities to create generational wealth. By promoting the children of the colonizers, the workers of iniquity keep the wealth in their communities. I hope the indigenous people are beginning to see how generational wealth is created and maintained. If the corporations begin to give the indigenous black youth the same opportunities, they are taking the wealth out of their communities and transferring the wealth into the indigenous community. The seed of the fallen cannot allow the new generation of indigenous black people to wise up, so they oppress to control the indigenous black people. The workers of iniquity maintain the wealth in their communities while profiting off the backs of the indigenous black people. 
I'm not sure why the indigenous people believe slavery is over. Slavery evolved just like the seed of the fallen has evolved over the years. It is embedded in them to still kill and destroy. It is not a secret that a thief comes only to still kill and destroy. The scriptures confirm. A thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I do not know why the indigenous black people are surprised by the seed of the fallen's behavior. The new generation of colonizers are following in their father's footsteps, which is to steal, kill, and destroy. The new generation of colonizers could never understand what the indigenous people are saying because the God of this world, Satan, has blinded their eyes they cannot see. The seed of the fallen and the heathens who have taken on the traits of the serpent seed cannot see anything wrong with their behaviors. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Due to their blindness, the kingdom of darkness used the seed of the fallen to bring forth their will into the physical realm. The perpetual hatred the seed of the fallen have towards the indigenous people allow the kingdom of darkness to use them freely to persecute and torment the people of the Most High. The scripture said, the God of this world, Satan, has deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The heathens have fallen prey to the deception of the kingdom of darkness against the indigenous black people. Due to the deception, they have taken crafty measures to erase us. Right now, the seed of the fallen are on top of the world. The scriptures reveal a time is coming when the boastful colonizers will confess they have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Right now, the scriptures will go over their head. Even though they know the truth, the pride in their heart will not allow them to submit to the Most High and cleave to His people. Israelites, it is important to study their behaviors. If you have been paying attention, you can see that their behavior has not changed from generation to generation. That is the reason the cycle of discrimination takes place in every generation. Their words have changed over the years, but their behavior remains the same. Israelites, can you discern how the serpent seed cannot be the foundation to any nation, nor the face to any bloodline? Stop giving the seed of the fallen an inheritance when the Most High did not give them an inheritance. This is the reason they had to colonize and rob the indigenous people of their land all over the world. The Most High gave the indigenous black people dominion and control over the works of his hands. The scripture said, who are the indigenous black people that you are mindful of them and place the works of your hands in their care? What is man that thou art mindful of him? and the Son of Man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. When the indigenous people start to realize how important they are to the Most High, they would begin to make better choices. When the indigenous people realize they are the rightful owner to every land on this earth, they will begin to claim what is rightfully theirs. Stop upholding the beast system's history of the seed of the fallen. Do not help the kingdom of darkness give the serpent seed an inheritance in this world. When the indigenous people mistake Mizraim descendants for the modern day Egyptians, when the indigenous people mistake the Israeli and Jewish converts for the descendants of the Israelites, when the indigenous people mistake the Edomites for the full-blooded serpent seed, you are giving the seed of the fallen an inheritance. In addition, you are believing the lies of the kingdom of darkness. When the indigenous people accept the biracial, the mixed group, and the full-blooded tares as one of them, you are giving your culture and bloodline to the kingdom of darkness. You are helping Satan achieve his goal of replacing the indigenous people with the serpent seed.
The entitlement the new generation of colonizers feel for taking what belongs to the indigenous people and profiting comes from the indigenous people consent. Many indigenous black people accept and welcome these people into their culture, procreate with the seed of the fallen, teach the seed of the fallen the ins and outs of their culture, invite them to the most intimate places in their lives, then get mad when they turn on you and steal everything from you. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. The indigenous people need to recognize what is happening and make better choices. The history of our ancestors should be an example for this generation. The indigenous people must learn from the mistakes of the previous generations. Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways, and from your evil doings. But they did not hear, nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? The awakening is revealing truth. The truth that is being revealed is hard for some people to digest. Israelites, you cannot partake in the awakening with the mindset and teachings from the beast system. You must let go of the beast culture and allow the Most High to renew your minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Besides the scriptures identifying the people the Israelites live among as their enemies, the scriptures reveal the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The suffering the scripture said would happen to the Israelites is not unique to the Israelites, but to the entire community of indigenous black people. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not... Where and who is he? When the wicked are in power, the people mourn. The whole world is mourning from the leadership of the workers of iniquity in high places. The synagogue of Satan is using various strategies to increase Satan's army. The vaccine is the popular method the kingdom of darkness is using to increase Satan's army. The workers of iniquity want to give the illusion of saving lives with a vaccine while destroying the people with biochemicals they unleash into the atmosphere. Many indigenous leaders who reject the vaccines have been killed. Haiti's president is the latest victim. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people now that you know you live among your enemies and the world was given into the hands of the wicked, Israelites and indigenous people all over the world, you must correctly identify the people you live among. Do not allow the beast culture to shame you for speaking truth. YouTube have been trying to get me to label my messages as hate speech for a long time. I will never compromise to label the truth as hate. The truth is setting too many free. Israelites, the Most High did not call the people you live among your friends. The Most High called them your enemies and heathens. You must identify them as such. Do not let the new labels such as black, white, Asian, Hispanic, and etc. distract you. The Most High referred to the indigenous heathens that serve him as strangers. Many non-Israelites find being called a stranger offensive. The scriptures reveal the Israelites are the only family the Most High knows. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. What is it about the truth that offend the people in the beast culture? I am not going to change the scriptures to cater to anyone's emotions. The Most High call you a stranger, I will refer to you as a stranger. If the Most High refer to you as a heathen, I will call you a heathen. If the Most High say you are my enemy, I will view you as an enemy. What is wrong with that?
Yahshua overturned the tables of the money exchangers, turning his father's house into a den of thieves. Yahshua referred to the Pharisees as vipers. O oh, generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. In this generation, speaking truth has become a crime. Just because religion has given the scriptures a new meaning, this does not change the Most High's interpretation of his words. The Most High's words are going to do what he sent them to do. Yah's words are not returning to him void. Indigenous people all over the world, you cannot accept the interpretation of the scriptures from the people who do not have the spirit of the Most High dwelling in them. The Most High said they do not know him and the Most High do not know them. Yah said he would say to them, Depart from me, I never knew you. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Inviting your enemies into your culture and getting mad when they appropriate your culture is your own fault. Why would you continue to teach your enemies your ways? Why do you continue to invite them into the most intimate places in your lives? You cannot invite your enemy into your nations and governments and expect everything to be peaceful. The indigenous people need to take responsibility for their actions. The seed of the fallen have been profiting from the labor of the indigenous people for multiple generations. The seed of the fallen monetize your gifts and talents, while most indigenous people do not care about their gifts and talents. The Most High gave his people gifts and talents to serve him. Most indigenous people serve the beast system with their gifts and talents. They get mad when Satan robbed them. The kingdom of darkness do not take over the indigenous culture overnight. Satan takes baby steps. While the indigenous people are sleeping, he plant tares and go about his business. By the time the indigenous people notice, the tares have fully blossomed and overpowered the original. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. The indigenous people must open their eyes to see how Satan is deceiving them on a daily basis. First, it starts with the seed of the fallen appreciating the culture. Then they start to imitate. The beast system proclaim imitation is the highest form of flattery. Israelites and indigenous people all over the world, that is false. Imitation is the beginning of losing your culture, heritage, and everything that belongs to you. The way Satan became the God of this world was by imitating the Most High. Several generations later, everyone believed why Jesus is God in the flesh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. The Caucasian species that have the image of the fallen angels' children and their DNA are now God's chosen people, even though the Caucasian species cannot give birth to an indigenous black person. The Caucasian women do not carry the Eve gene. Everyone knows the original people are the black indigenous people. We know this, but we live in a society that dismiss the facts. Once the descendants of the fallen begin to admire your culture, they want to procreate with you to insert themselves into the culture. Hip hop is a prime example. Biracial, the mixed people, and non-indigenous people are dominating hip hop and pop culture. The indigenous people welcome them into the culture, then get mad when a non-indigenous person win Grammys in the hip hop category. Once upon a time, rock and roll and country music used to be black. The seed of the serpent dominate in those genres today. Once upon a time, North Africa was dominated with black indigenous people. Today, that region of the world is populated with non-indigenous people claiming the indigenous people's bloodline. The next generation of colonizers are doing what their ancestors have been doing for multiple years, inserting themselves into the culture, plant their seed into the indigenous bloodline, use their offspring as a pass to claim the indigenous people's culture and bloodline. All of this took place because the indigenous people invite the seed of the fallen into their culture. By now you should know the Most High deal with bloodline and Satan deal with place of birth. Nobody can convert into a bloodline. To pass on your bloodline, two of the same kind, meaning two people from the same bloodline, must come together to have a child. If the person you marry and procreate with is from a different bloodline, you have started your own bloodline. 
Therefore, Satan used place of birth to give his seed an inheritance. In addition, take over the indigenous people's identity. That is how Mizraim, the son of Ham, became Egypt a group of people who have no connection with the original people of the land, but claim Mizraim bloodline and inheritance because they were born on that land. Israelites and indigenous people all over the world, you must open your eyes to see. You must discern how the kingdom of darkness is taking over and erasing the indigenous people right before our eyes. Look how easily the seed of the fallen is stealing the indigenous people's culture and passing it off as their own. If they are blatantly doing this in our generation, how many indigenous bloodline have they claimed as their own? Can you perceive how North Africa became white? Very soon, South Africa will be known as a white nation like Australia if you let the next generation of colonizers tell the story. Indigenous black people all over the world, you are witnessing the whitewashing of our culture and identity. What are you going to do to put an end to this? Are you going to stay on strike until you are compensated? Once you are compensated, are you going to invite the next generation of colonizers back into the culture? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Once the seed of the fallen compensate you, they will send the spirit of poverty against you to collect their money back. Indigenous people all over the world, let the Most High be the one to compensate you. His gifts are eternal. Let the Most High be the one to lead you in the battle. It shall be, when you are come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. The Lord your God is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you.